penetration. And oh, whoopsie. <laughs> I did. Your puss are mediocre. <laughs> And he fly him around like a little puppy. I've seen him do that with those big fucking murder hornets in like Japan. <laughs> I fuck that. They like tie like a little like balloon on a string and they get it around their abdomen and they fly around with a balloon. <laughs> It'd be kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> would you? Would you I, feel? I think it's like so that they can. Would you feel less scared of like a wasp or something if it had a balloon tied around it? It was just flying around with a little <laughs> little balloon or a bow or something. Me and me and a wasp had a deal today. When I got home from work, that doesn't answer my question. Was, I wouldn't. I'd probably not feel less. Mm. I mean, unless it was like helium balloon, and he was really struggling to stay fucking <laughs> down to earth. You know. Yeah. Then I'd be. be then I wouldn't be scared. I'd be like, <laughs> "Fuck you." <laughs> hey, that's so quiet. It's probably in my headphones. Yeah, it's just the headphones. Yeah. Uh, the uh, me and a wasp had a fucking deal today, though. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, so like I got home from work and there was a wasp on the inside of the screen door, and I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. So I like started opening it, and he like flared his wings and like looked right at me. So then I was like, I don't think he's looking at me. I think he's just looking in my direction. So then I like moved around to the other side of the door, and he sure as shit. <laughs> fucking tracked me and i'm like me and you're not gonna be friends they can sense fear so i took my hat off and i was like i don't want to fuck you up so just fly away and i opened it and he wouldn't go and i'm like all right i tapped on the screen and he fucking started flying right at me and i fucking ran and jumped off the stairs <laughs> <laughs> and then i got inside and jane's like so i saw you were having a little bout with a wasp there huh i'm like well we made it out okay it was fine I, see, I've seen I had him, to get out of his way. I've seen him jump off booms and stuff because there's a fucking bee or a wasp. <laughs> He's just <laughs> such a bitch when it comes to these fucking Dude, wasps. I bet you if I was in a fucking like 185 foot lift boom lift up all the way up mm -hmm. and a wasp was buzzing around my head up there, I bet you I would like jump out of the basket without even thinking about it. Like trying to get away. Well, you're tied. I know, but like, why you? Ah, you fucking cocksucker bit my leg. Yep. See, that's you, why. Right you, there. Uh, <laughs> you've been stung by one. You lived. I know. You didn't. It wasn't even that bad. I know. It wasn't that bad. So I don't. God damn it! I think it's Dad. because like the fuck is that? So like, I got stung. <laughs> wasn't that big of a deal. But it seems like every time I'm dealing with a fucking wasp. Like they're they're always like trying to like get in your face, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like they're around your like your head. They're That's buzzing all your face. these flying it's creatures. Like if if they would just like swarm like around my arm, fine. Like, but I I have a deal. Like I don't want I don't want it in my face. You know what I mean? I don't want him accidentally stinging my eyes and then like my one eyeball pops or something and I'm <laughs> fucking blind. You know what I mean? I mean I. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but it's kind of like crazy. that's one thing I don't ever hope that I ever have to endure is like being blind. That that would that would be a really shitty like learning curve having to like revisit everything in your life. Oh yeah, especially like, in your 30s. Right? Yeah. So you would choose deaf over blind? Mm. I think I would choose deaf over blind. I'm halfway there. Yeah, I can't yeah, hear sure. shit I I anyway. Do. I would definitely rather be deaf, you know, because then at least you can read their like read people's lips and be like. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess you aren't reading their lips. Then. Yeah. <laughs> You're just looking at mouth movements at that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what What did you say? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, the whole blind thing though. I there's so much cool shit to like see. Being able to see is like, and I hope there's no blind people listening right now because if there is, I'm not, I'm not trying to explain how shitty you have it. <laughs> but I just would not want to be in that position. Yeah, but it also sucked not being able to hear music and shit. Yeah, especially because I play music with Bo, so that would be out. Might help. Might help you. 
Either that or he'd have to like look at me. <laughs> yeah, have you heard yourself? <laughs> <laughs> he'd have to like look at me and like mouth the words and I'd have to like Okay, I think I think we're doing this. That'd be an awkward awkward awkward. That'd awkward. be an awkward That'd show. That'd be an awkward. That'd be an awkward show. That reminds me of the way like real hillbillies say acorns. Acorns? Acorns. Acorns. I got an acorn tree. It's an oak tree, buddy. Like Shwani. Shwani. Shwani's a acorn. Been chewing acorns my whole life. We can tell. <laughs> yeah, we can. Lack of tooths. Lack of tooths. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from your one tooth. Your one tooth with an F. You've been chewing acorns your whole life. Yeah. Either that or paint chips. Motherfucker, dude. I have not. One thing about summer, I've not missed these fuckers. Oh, dude, flies. I feel like we could do an episode about how much we hate flies every every week. Yeah, and it wouldn't, probably wouldn't get old. No. I feel like we have, like, we've talked about them so much that, like, it could all equal up to an episode. Oh, probably. Yeah. Dude, we should. Oh, my God. That would take so much time. But I was going to say, like, what if we went back through, like, a bunch of our episodes and just took, like, a bunch of clips from different episodes where we were bitching about flies and put them into, like, like a five-minute short video <laughs> where it was just us, like, 30 different episodes talking shit about flies. Yeah, yeah, I think we do that. We both agree. Two out of three. Two out of three. That we agree. do that. Yeah. Uh, oh, I agree. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. <laughs> we'll each take a uh, <laughs> episode viewing party at Brandon's. Name the date. <laughs> <laughs> that would take a long time. I found one. It would probably be quicker to binge watch all the Star Warses on a, in a weekend than it would to to watch 118 See, episodes. I was only yeah. agreeing to that because I don't know how to do the editing. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, but you still got to watch and pick shit out. Pick them out. You got to watch every single episode. <laughs> you got to watch them and timestamp them so that you know where to find it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll pass. Homework, I mean, I'll pass. <laughs> Ep- two out of three already <laughs> agreed, buddy. <laughs> episode six. <laughs> hour, one hour and four minutes. Timestamped. Oh, it, at, I thought you meant like it was the whole th- one hour and four minutes of fucking fly talks. I bet there's that much because we like fuck flies, dude. <laughs> yeah. I wish <laughs> you just we you just need to build an extension on here and make it for studio purposes only, and then you can section it off, dude. We could we could make it like a negative pressure room where there's like it like. Like hospital rooms that are like sterile, where they have like the negative pressure rooms, where it's like pumping air out. You know what I mean? Or just make it cold enough. They create like a vacuum that keeps the flies out. I mean, if it's if it's sealed off really well and it's it's uh, yeah, temperature controlled and fuckers get into everywhere though. They they do. It's nuts, man. Like, but I mean, if your door, if the door, if it's closed, the door is closed or whatever. Yeah. All, all the time and if you know when you go in and out you quick with the door you're not just sitting there with the door open and shit you're gonna minimize how many fucking fuckers get in there i mean to a point except for have you ever seen flies they hang out by doors where you can't see them yeah and then when you open it even if it's for a split second they're like yep oh great yep we're in god hell yeah i don't know why that's how they get in around oh. fucking bastards they are. Yeah, they are. Oh, one good sign about flies, though, is uh, guess what that means? Summer? Summertime. And where the living's easy. We're already enjoying the shit out of summer. I am, anyway. It's not even, is it technically summer yet? When's the first day of summer? No. Uh, I don't know. I think it's, I, I don't it should think be this month. I don't think it's technically summer yet, but it's pretty goddamn nice outside, and I'm loving every minute of it. it yeah. Well, yeah, we beautiful out. had a lot of storms, though. Have not gone golfing yet, though. I know. So we need to figure that out. I was planning on going last weekend, but then I decided to work. June 20th, by the way. <laughs> summer. <laughs> June 20th? <coughs> it's the first day of summer? Yep. Really? Yeah. That's weird because it usually feels like by the time you get to June 20th, like July 4th, like that couple weeks in there. <laughs> like fourth of july is over and it feels like summer's like, well that's it summer's over yeah for the most you know part. what i mean feels like you're on like not this last this last summer to winter transition though it was kind of it stayed warm for quite a while because it didn't get cold till fucking november yeah, and i was honestly 
at that point i was ready for it to be cold or like cool down because i was getting it was fucking getting hot and humid and shit <laughs> i was like fuck this shit i'm done jaden asked me if she could turn the ac on today and i said no we turned ours on today did mine's, you, mine's mm-hmm. been on for the past month and a half did you clean <laughs> the grass out that i blew into your ac unit yeah i fucking had to blow it out with the air compressor everything i apologize for that what? guy so i <laughs> the other night i was on call <laughs> And they came over for for some reason they were getting hammered drunk on a Sunday, and they came over, and uh, I had got called into work right as we like got to our got to my place, and I had earlier that day I was out mowing and then it started storming like as I was on the mower and I saw like a lightning all over so I jumped off quick and just went inside I wasn't gonna mow with that yeah lightning all over. He texts me. He's like, you want me to finish your mowing? I was like, yeah, sure. (laughs) Go ahead. There's like fucking four or five passes left in the backyard. And first off, he tells me that on the side of my house that he blew it into my windows. Then (laughs) he also tells me, oh, yeah, and by the way, I uh, blew the grass right into your AC unit outside, too. I'm like... (laughs) <laughs> thanks thanks for the help man so, <laughs> you're a real pal yeah. <laughs> so to be to be fair I, so you know what you deserve that nut tap so i mm-hmm. i actually didn't like blow like i didn't like mow the section and blow it into your fucking your ac the spot had already been mowed but i was trying to figure out like like i was i went to like turn around and but i was trying to figure out like the reverse button and I like hit the reverse button and it like I went to like go in reverse and it died. I'm like shit. So then I started it back up. The reverse button. Like the little oh, triangle like thing. To, be able to, to like go backwards. backwards. I was gonna say it's just a re- it's a pedal. So but I like hit the button <laughs> and I like went to go backwards and then it died because I apparently wasn't doing the reverse thing right. So like I started it back up, started <laughs> And then I engage the blades, and I'm like, "All right, well, let me go forward." And I uh, went forward, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> AC was right. Like I watched it blow like grass that was already cut. Like, and, and I'm like, "Fuck!" <laughs> God damn it! Oh, glad it's not mine though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I fuck told- him. I'm doing him a favor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think he really just wanted to drive my mower. I wanted to I wanted to see what the zero turn with the steering wheel was like. It was kind of cool. Oh, yeah, yeah they're pretty turn. nice. It's it's a zero turn, but it's got a steering wheel. Huh. Yeah, it was Yeah, it was kind of it was different. Yeah. It was kind of cool. You know, most zero turns have like the two handles. Like skid skid steers. Yeah. But his <laughs> it's just a steering wheel and like you start turning and you're like you feel like you're on like a John Deere rider and you're going to stop and have like <laughs> a 30 degree radius turn or something but like you just keep turning and all of a sudden it's like doing zero turn fucking shit <laughs> like, whoa i could see how you'd like run over fucking shit on accident with that like if you were moving along and skirting and trying to be really quick with it so the first time or like the first week i got it i was parking in the garage or whatever and i'm used to like holding a clutch in or something you know yep so or the brake is right there because usually on just a normal rider you put it in the gear and that's well i started it and my foot pedal the gas pedal i had my foot on it like a brake <laughs> <laughs> and then like you know put it all the way up rubbed it all the way up Took the parking brake off, and that fucker all of a sudden just, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I had my Blackstone in the garage. I fucking ran into that, oh. like cardboard, and I'm like, and I fucking stopped. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. That was. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Dude, the, the zero turns are fucking, like, when you go from a riding mower to a zero turn, there's a little bit of a learning curve there. And, like, mine, when I first got mine. There was a couple times where I was a little too abrasive with like the reverse to forward or forward to reverse. And then I, I got a little bit of the fucking hops going on. And like as soon <laughs> as they start and you're doing this shit, 
uh, you got to just let go. <laughs> if you want it to stop, you got to just let go. Because yeah. if you keep holding on, your body weight is like yeah. shoving them and it gets worse. Yeah, you do the first the first couple of times I mowed my yard, I I got into a few little hopping situations. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like JB Mooney for a few minutes. Yeah, how fucking do you? So you've been bringing him up a lot. Are you just seeing him on TikTok now? Yeah, I got it. I, JB Mooney's <laughs> been on my TikTok a lot lately. He's been on mine too, but like I knew him before. I did too. Yeah, I've known. <laughs> you've I've just known been, JB Mooney. You've just been bringing him up quite a bit. I can tell he's been watching because I'll be scrolling, you know, on our TikTok mm-hmm. and shit. And then just randomly like JB Mooney, and then it'll be like a some ad, and then JB Mooney, and then JB Mooney. I'm like, God damn, cool. Well, there's a, there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of like like his retired stuff going mm-hmm. on now. Like his uh, he's got like a school at his own, at his own ranch where like he teaches. He's got like a bull riding team. He like teaches these kids are like interns and shit, and he's got a bunch of bulls, and they're trying to like they're getting like buck and bulls ready and then he's got a team that runs them around and shit so i've just been watching some of the stuff comes up from like his retirement he is the greatest ever though when it comes to riding bulls <laughs> <laughs> fuck an asshole and he's tougher than fuck well dude, uh, you you have to be to do that shit. dude fucking know. broke his neck stood up <laughs> walked out of the fucking ring <laughs> and went right to the aim, the medic station and sat down and goes i broke my neck yeah <laughs> like yeah you know just like watching his videos you know that he's just walking around in pain like crazy oh dude he just he can barely walk and but he gets up every day dude there was it, uh, he, he says like some days hurts like hell some days it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> the there was a video the other day of like him and his son walking into a diner and like must have been a fan like took a Snapchat or a TikTok of him walking in and just watching that dude walk in and like turn the corner his shoulders are all like stiff and fucking he's just like mm-hmm. <laughs> hobbling through the diner like God yeah fuck that that dude's young and he fucking is hurting. How old is he? He's mid thirties. <laughs> I heard enough as Late it is. Late thirties, like yeah. he, dude, that dude's gonna be fucking hurting. Oh yeah, I think he's fucking broke every goddamn bone in his body. Probably ba- damn near. Yeah, dude, he he rode that fuck. He rode bushwhacker thirteen fucking times, and only only rode him for eight seconds once. Imagine getting on the same fucking like the meanest fucking bull in the PBR thirteen times. First time that bull threw me off a bit. Like, yeah, but that's about enough of that. <laughs> Let's pick a yeah, smaller. Yeah, I'd like Let's to do. A I'd one. like to bull ride like one time just to try it. Obviously, not a bull like that, but yeah. But Did I don't think I would Ocho, do it twice. Ocho Cinco. Uh huh. Ocho Cinco. They he was going through like the PBR circuit, and he got on a bull at one of the events, and had his helmet on and fucking got all cinched up, and he's like. He's like, you ready? And he's like, no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> he's like, wait, hold, okay. And they're like, nod. He's like, yeah, go. Open the fucking gate. And I think they scored him at 0. 0.5 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was on his podcast yeah. uh, with, uh, who's the other dude? I don't I don't know who his podcast is with. He's uh, on, he's on. Uh, it's. With, with Shannon Sharp a lot. Yeah, that's who it is. Mm. He was talking to him about his, but he's like, yeah, I was on the, I rode for 1.5 seconds or whatever. And he's like, uh, no, you did it. It was 0.5 seconds. And <laughs> Ocho Cinco goes, but let's just break this down for a second here, all right? I am a finely tuned athlete and I only made it 0.5 seconds. He goes, I was impressed. He's like, <laughs> I look at the, look at these guys. Like they're riding them for eight seconds or longer. Some of them are staying on longer. He's like, he's like, my hats off to them. Those guys are fucking athletes. <laughs> yeah, but I don't think that's even a comparison. Like you're, they trained all their life to be bull riders. He trained all his life to be a fucking football player. Right. The guy probably can't even shoot a basketball. You know, you see that all the time. Like you're really good at one sport, but you're uncoordinated as fuck. You see it. Like we go to an NFL game every year. And you watch those guys warming up and like they get throwing a football 
half of them can't catch. Yeah. Like half of them can't throw the ball back to them. It's like the little sidearm wing, mm -hmm. like just because they played NFL sport or like a professional sport doesn't mean granted way better athlete than I ever will be or, or ever Dude. was, but yeah, it's, it's amazing. The bull riders, how like, how aware of like their center of gravity they are. You know what I mean? Like they know exactly how far they got to be forward and how far they got to lean back and like where their weight needs to be just by how that like you any of us got on one of them fucking bowls dude it fucking throw us off in the shoot before we even nod it unless it just got lucky. and then fucking saddle bronc riders are even more badass than the bull riders Bo used to be a saddle bronc rider really that's even that's even more intense than bull riding yeah Bo Bo was fucking he was a professional saddle bronc rider really yeah, he retired because he broke his femur. Yeah, I know that probably. I think he yeah. pretty I, easy to I do. I think he broke both legs. Yeah, he uh, Bo, Bo was a fucking good saddle bronc rider. And he fucking he showed me like his his saddle like his saddle for like saddle bronc riding and like his rope and shit. And <clears throat> there's like nothing to the fucking thing, right? You might as well just be bareback. I'm like, well, how do you hold on? He goes, with your spurs. <laughs> <laughs> the fucker, the fucker stands up on his front legs, and you just dig your spurs into his neck, and you use your legs to just keep yourself there until you fall down. Then you hold on to the rope when you go back. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> well, it's all about timing, and like once I don't know if it's when they hit their ground, they have to be feet tucked in, and when they're up in the air, they have to like click them up. Like up by the up by the neck of the horse or whatever. Yeah, like it's all fucking. Dude, it's, it's a weird thing. You'll it, see him like legs going like this the whole time. Yeah. yeah, it's nuts, man. Bo Bo used to do that shit until he broke his legs. Yeah, fuck that. By the time dying, you ain't got no legs. He ain't got no legs. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun to try it though. On like, you know, you'd do it one time. What? And you'd get thrown, and <laughs> broken neck. <laughs> no i always said if i if i were to jump on bulls and shit and go crazy doing that kind of thing i'd be that guy that got my fucking hand stuck in the goddamn rope and get drug around like a rag doll fucking trampled on i guarantee you'd get thrown off and that bull would be so mad at you and it would fucking gun you down well that's what i mean and like, it would go bloop, dude, they would open you. they would open that chute that bull would take one big jump out and on the first jump, I would flip fucking ass over head, and I'd be fucking still stuck in my fucking hand, hanging off by the bull's face, and he'd be fucking ragdolling my ass yeah. all over fuck. And then I'd end up getting trampled on, and I'd be laying in the ring, and I'd go, oh, "Did I make it? Did I make it, Paul?" I knew, <laughs> I knew, I knew I shouldn't have fucking did that. That was dumb. <laughs> yeah, give me one go at it, and that's how it works. That's. Jane, I did it. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? Oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> now I got to wipe your ass too. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I had a really fucking weird dream last night. Super fucking weird, right? Yeah. So you know I've always wanted to climb Mount Everest. Yeah. Did you have a dream about Mount Everest? I had a dream, but like the top of Mount Everest was like the very peak of like this super tall fucking castle. And like we were all dressed up like we were in, on an expedition climbing Everest. And we were, like, crawling up the valley, and we got to, like, the very tip of this fucking castle roof, and it was, like, Mount Everest. And I'm standing there, and I'm looking at the fucking guide, and I'm like, who fucking roofed this thing? Because it was, like, shingles. <laughs> I was like, who roofed this thing? He's like, I don't know, but they did it a very long time ago. I go, fucking nuts of steel, man. And then I was, I was like, hey, we got some nails sticking out up here on the fucking ridge. And the Sherpa was, like, pulling out fucking nails and, like, ridge caps. And he's like, we got to replace them every time we come up. So I'm like, give me a hammer. I'm fucking, that was, like, my mark I left on fucking Mount Everest was I replaced a ridge cap on the fucking roof of the Everest castle. When the fuck kind of dreams are you having? <laughs> right? Why? Did you did know. you make it to the top? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I was up on top. <laughs> oh, boy. I was up on top. Yeah. And then, well, and what reminded me of that was getting thrown around like a rag doll on the fucking, the bull. On our way down, 
there was like a, a ledge off like like the eave of like one of the roof edges and we had to like jump down to another roof and i jumped down and like everything under me let go and i like slid off and like tumbled down the mountain like <laughs> with like an avalanche, i like tumbled the whole fucking mountain down right yeah and they put me on a helicopter and like i was in like the little bucket thing flew me to the hospital and shit and i like woke up from a coma and like my whole family was there and the nurse was like are you okay can you hear me and i looked at the nurse and i was like mama tell the life insurance <laughs> i said i said tell the life insurance not to pay out she did this to me and i pointed at jaden <laughs> and everyone's like what and i'm like i'm just kidding i fell down mount everest <laughs> this was i fell dream. down the steps <laughs> this is my fucking dream <laughs> kind of dreams dude ah uh, dude i don't know fucking goofy I had another dream the other night about I was at work and you were, you were pissing me off. Me and you? Yeah, and Myers was there too, and you guys were like ganging up on me with your fucking stupid words. And I was getting pissed because I was the only work and you guys were just standing there bojangling and uh -huh. like, why don't you go make yourself useful, Colby, you fucking bitch. Are you, you sure? <laughs> I've had a couple dream? dreams that we're, we're at work and he's just pissing me off at work. You sure it was I don't a dream? Know that sounds like a real, <laughs> real Tuesday. It does sound like a real Tuesday. <laughs> But no, it was a dream because I was on top. Like it was like a plane or something. You were on top in the dream. Yeah, I was on top of the world mm. with the dream, the dream world. He was on top in the dream. On top of the world. Yeah, right. Oh. It's a song, right? I don't. You're gonna have to sing it again. No. <laughs> yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> it's warm here. It is kind of warm in here. Yeah. It's a lot hotter outside than it is in here, though. Uh, Tell you that for free. Maybe I don't know. It was like if you step back outside, you're gonna be like, oh yeah, it's hot out here. I guess we'll see. Yeah, we got a breeze outside though. Just uh, I got my smudge pot today. Yeah. We gotta have a fucking smudge pot. We gotta day. have a smudge pot day. I don't know why we don't just light it up right now. Light that motherfucker up. I don't have any diesel. Light it up in here. Yeah. We can just siphon it from your truck. Yeah, easy peasy, Japanesey, I suppose. So we are. No, I don't think that's how that works. I'm pretty sure they put anti-siphoning valves in tr trucks nowadays. Yeah, but that's a 2000, what is it? Seven. They didn't do that then? Yeah, they did. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> We're the mechanics here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them big fucking windmills that you work mm -hmm. on, those things, run, diesel. those things run on diesel. Mm -hmm. but we're going to go to a windmill and <laughs> so, steal it? It's a diesel windmill. So Jeremy was telling me, a little while back that there's a there's a diesel engine up in the top they start the diesel engine and they have to run it to warm everything up and then they use it as a starter motor to really get the fucking blades turning mm -hmm. and then once they get turning then they catch the wind and then they'll free spin but clean energy they got to burn about 400 gallons of diesel before <laughs> yeah so super clean <laughs> mm -hmm. super clean green energy green yeah. energy mm -hmm. Yep, that's 400 gallons per windmill mm -hmm. every time they start them. Yeah, what's yeah, I, I was got what like they probably they 000. average at least like 2,000 gallons a day. Well, then didn't you say it takes <laughs> it takes double double the starting capacity for them to engine break them down to slow them down? No, they gotta they gotta use the engine mm -hmm. brake. No, on the you, diesel engine. You made that one up yourself. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I could have swore you told me that. Maybe it was in a dream. Probably. You got some <laughs> very nice dreams. What were you going to say? No, I don't remember. Oh. Good going, Colby. Good God, Colby. That's kind of good at that. That's kind of your thing, though. Oh, speaking of engines, though. Oh. Kylie about uh, blew my truck up the other or yesterday. Uh -oh. Um. So our deep freeze took a shit yesterday morning. Yep. Well, probably like Friday, but it was. Um, so we went and bought a new deep freeze, got an upright one instead of the chest freezer. So much better. Yeah. Um. But I forgot ratchet straps when we went to go get it. And then I bought some at Menards, but I was so fucking flustered that I bought, I thought I was buying like the 15 foot ratchet straps, a pack of two. I bought the 10 foot ones. So I couldn't go up and over the deep freeze. So I tried to just go like around it. Um, Cause I didn't want to lay the deep freeze down at all. And cause I don't know if that's, that hurts it or not, but the one just wrapping around and didn't wasn't doing the job. And so we pulled over and I was like, all right, I'm just going to hop in the back of the truck. You drive. I'll be in the back and I'll hold it up. It'd be just fine. 
<laughs> Did you put it in manual? Yeah, I fucking going in first gear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting back there. I'm like, all right, good, go ahead. And she pulls out on the road, and I just hear the truck. And I just start fucking yelling, like, hey, hey. The windows are up. I was like, hey. And she just finally, she's like, oh, pulls over. Sorry. <laughs> I'm like, motherfucker. Because, like, right away, I didn't realize it because I was like, well, I haven't rode in the back of a truck in a while, like, fucking 15 years. So maybe yeah. it's. No, no, it's definitely not shifting. Yeah. This thing is not shifting. I've done that in my truck a couple times because I'll have my water bottle up on the center console and it will like fall and hit the fucking the stick and I won't even realize it. And I'll be going, it's like, right? And doing the same fucking <laughs> yeah. thing. It's like, oh, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's so easy to put, and put it in manual. I think yeah. that for some reason when she's like, say it's driving my truck or driving the lawnmower or something and I'm right there, I think I make her a little nervous. Because she I thinks I'm going to yell at her or something for doing it wrong. I mean, you did. Yeah. Well, that I needed to. Yeah. Right. But what? at what point after this did you beat her? Oh, we pulled over on the side of the road. and You did it right there? Yeah. That's yeah. ballsy. Yeah. People could well, see you. Well, it's a lot like I when think you... They, everybody would have understood. So, <laughs> <laughs> she almost blew his truck out. Like, yeah. she, she had it coming. It's a lot no, like we when just, you... We laughed about it. It was... I mean, it was funny. I can see yeah. how it happens. I've done it before, too, but... Yep. It's a lot like when you discipline your dog. You got to do it right away. Otherwise, like, they're just getting beat and they don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just, <laughs> just compared a woman to a dog. No, the, the best part about it was, like, then, as was she's driving, funny? driving, not paying attention to the road, and I'm in the back end, she's uh, videoing or doing a Snapchat video that she's going to send to me explaining what happened mm -hmm. and she's like yeah it turns out like i looked down and the m was red instead of the d and <laughs> I like, yeah i know what happened <laughs> yeah i know how it works <laughs> oh well guess what guys <laughs> we out of time we're out of time all right yeah well shit shit and dicks and dick and shits just made that up isn't it beautiful that was great yeah, I'm going to use that again, probably. You, I don't even remember what I said. You should do something in the arts. Right? Yeah. yeah. I've been saying that something for years. Art related. Mm, yeah. Like, like poetry. poetry. Maybe instead <laughs> of like verbal poetry, though, you should do like painted poetry. Painted poet, like with my, um, with my balls? Like finger paint. With my balls? Yeah. Just use my balls, dip it in paint, and then yeah. kind of wiggle on <laughs> it. And then everyone can guess what you were trying to imply. Right. Kind of like a uh, ink blot, but with my balls. Yeah. You know, I've always thought that would be funny. What? Just make a random, like, abstract painting and then, like, take it to an art show and stand there. And when people are looking at it, right, it has no meaning. You did nothing. You just made a fucking mess. Yeah. And then stand there and be like, what do you think the artist was getting at on this one? Like, listen to people, like, I analyze it. I feel his tension. It was, <laughs> there was a lot of stress involved, I think, with this. He was, I don't know what he's quite getting at, I, but. His anger is. Sexual, with, sexual frustration. I can feel speaking it. Speaking of what you should do is you do that, those sex paints where you lay out a big old fucking sheet of paper or whatever, and then you yeah. guys, like, paint each other and get all get all naked and painted, and yeah. then you, you and have you sex tussle. on it. You tussle. You tussle. You tussle. You do a little wrestling around. Some, some um, scrogging. You, do, <laughs> you go heels to Jesus, and you just fucking roll around, and you fucking make a painting. You ever done one? I have. You have? Yes. Really? Yeah. How was that? It's, it was interesting. Mm. Oh. Did you paint your wiener? Mm, I don't remember. I would, I would assume not. Well, I mean, they have sex paints, so they're, like, safe for internal use, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> internal <laughs> use. <only. laughs> I mean, some of it's going to get inside of you internal, one way or another. Internal use only? Yeah. Not <laughs> only. Is it just, like, colorful lube? No, it's it's paint, but it's, I don't know, it's made of, like, safe asbestos. materials, whatever. Hmm. What did you say? It's asbestos paint. It's asbestos. Yeah. <laughs> Washes off in the shower. Wait, what yeah. is the word that you're trying to say? Asbestos, I think. I wanted to see it. Asbestos. Oh. I thought you were starting it with an S. He was. 
Suspestus. Suspestus. <laughs> he says suspestus. Suspestus. Suspicious. Suspicious. <laughs> Delicious. I may not be superstitious, but I am a little stitious. Just a little stitious. <clears throat> all right. Well, that's all we got. That's it. That's all. Thank you guys. Love you very much. We love you guys. Love you guys. Fuck you guys. Fuck, Fuck you. you. Watch your balls, buddy. We'll see you next time. We will. Okay, okay, bye. I'm chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and wear their Wrangler. Fuck me in the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take two. Chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have cowboy boots and carry around their pitchforks. Chasing their butt cheeks up and down the corn. All these girls have real nice butts and wear those Wrangler jean shorts. <laughs> Uh, pull chocks. Pull chocks.